Have you ever thought to yourself that when you saw someone, somehow, look like a criminal? Even though we know logically that this is not something we can simply observe just by looking at someone, there were actually a few criminological theories developed many years ago that attempted to establish a connection between a person's physical build and appearance and their likelihood to commit a crime. So here is one of the three. William Sheldon's theory. His key ideas are concentrated on the survival of the fetus as behavioral science. So Sheldon chose to instead employ beliefs about Darwin's theory, survival of the fetus. He also argued for an ideal type in which perfectly formed physique joined perfectly formed temperament and disposition. Any combination that deviated from this ideal was associated with disorders of both personality and behavior. He claimed a physical basis for all variations in, person in personality and body build. He combines the biological and psychological explanations to understand the violent behavior. He advocated the somatotyping theory that explains the belief of inheritance as the primary determinants and the body physic is a reliable indicator of personality. So, what is somatotypes? Somatotypes are a set of generalized body types. So, psychologist William Sheldon came up with somatotypes in the 1940s and they were one of the biological theories developed in this time that attempted to explain and predict crime based on a person's body type. So, there are three types. Before that, as cited by Sheldon, body types affect a person's entire personality of temperament. There are three somatotypes by Sheldon. So people are classified in three ways. Ectomorph, endomorph, and mesomorph. First is endomorphs. They are the people who tend to become fat, to be round and soft, and to have short arms and legs, roundness throughout the region of the body. They have low specific gravity and a person with typically relaxed and comfortable disposition. Viseratonic temperament. And uh, also, they have wide waist and large structures have a higher proportion. In, endom in endomorph, uh, also known as viseratonic temperament, uh, we're seen as relaxed, sociable, tolerant, com comfort loving, peaceful, good humored, and in need of affection. Uh, B is mesomorphs, people who have athletic and muscular physique, predominance of muscle, bone, and connective tissue, normally heavy, hard, and firm, strong, and tough. They are people who are routinely active, assertive, and aggressive personality. They have the characteristic that make them suitable for delinquency. So in mesomorph, they also have large bones, uh, solid torso combined with low fat, wide shoulders with narrow waist, somatonic temperament. So, uh, Somatonic temperament, they are active, dynamic, assertive, with tendency toward aggression. Uh, the last characteristic is ectomorphs. People who are base basically skinny or thin physique, flat chest, delicacy throughout the body, slender, poorly muscled, and they are tended to be fatigued and withdrawal, with lean and fragile bodies, introverted, overly sensitive, and chronically complaining about their health. Their health. So, electronic temperament. So, uh, they also have long arms and legs, short upper body, and slim. They are in seraptonic temperament, thoughtful, and inhabited sensitive. Who? Cool. Jerry Perkins, 30, allegedly tried to steal more than $600 worth of electronic merchandise. Or a abut ito ng 31,338 peso. But a 400 pound Michigan woman was busted for shoplifting and later hit with a taser when her motorized cart got stuck in a supermarket's door, according to police. So, nabulilyaso lamang ang plano niya noong ang kanyang cart ay nastuck sa mismong pinto ng supermarket. When Noong Feb 14, 2015, at exactly 9.20 p.m., were Mayher at Rochester Hills, United States. Why? 
He only stated that it was only a plan and nothing more. Ibig sabihin ay wala naman talaga siyang intensyon na manakit o manggulo, ito'y trip-trip niya lamang. How? When a staff heard the door alarm activating, they asked her for receipt or sa resibo. It was this point, she got violent and police were called. The deputy then pulled his taser and hold Perkins to put her hands behind her back. Dito na naalarma ang mga staff kung kaya tumawag sila agad ng mga police. Generally speaking, Sheldon developed these categories. The ectomorphs are thin and slender and may appear fragile. Endomorphs are round and solid and often appear overweight. And mesomorphs tend to have developed muscles and appear strong and powerful. And many of the mesomorphic body types tend to be juvenile delinquents. I'm Aleli Dijiambot and my partner is Ms. Reza Santos. We are from BSC3A and we reported the William Sheldon's theory. Thank you and God bless!